Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at HubFit's training programs. I'm going to show you how you can create training programs from the coach side, and then I'm going to show you how the client can view these programs from the client app. So we'll jump straight into it. Here you can create a library of your programs, your workouts, your exercises. For now, we're going to focus on the programs and creating our training program in our library. And then I'm going to show you how we can use this in our client's profile. So to add a program, you'll see this add program option. So I'll go ahead and click add program. Here you'll see you'll be able to pick a name for the program, description, and then you can pick a program type. So there's two types of programs that you can work with. A calendar program allows you to schedule workouts on specific dates. And then there's a fixed program. So a fixed program, you can create a program and then the client can follow at their own pace without you having to assign specific dates. So an example for fixed program is you might create a push pull legs program that they can follow at their own pace without having to give them specific dates. You might also create your programs into phases. So you might do full body month one, month two. I'm gonna show you how both work. What's nice is that they they both use the same workout builder so once you know how to create your program it's the same either way it's just one is in a calendar format and one is not first let's look at calendar programs I'll go ahead and create a 90 day program and I'll do calendar and I'll do add program so we've now created a calendar program in our template so we're gonna go ahead and build this out I'll click on this and you'll see at the moment we have no weeks let's go ahead and add a week I'll add four weeks here. So now this program has four weeks and I can go ahead and start adding workouts to this program. So let's go to day one. I'll click on this and you'll see that we'll get prompted with the add workout option. Now this add workout is standard across everything. So whether you're doing a fixed program or a calendar program, or even creating a workout in your workout library, it all uses the same builder. So once you know how to use it, it's quite straightforward. So you'll see here, you have a couple of options when creating a workout. You can create a new workout from scratch. You can pick something from your library. So I'll go ahead and create our first workout and name it chest. You'll see here, you can add an image to the workout. So this is a nice way to make it visual for the client if I go ahead and click on this you'll see that there's a preset of images that you can pick from but you can also add your own image if you want to do so if you scroll to the bottom you'll see here that you can pick colors these are nice because you can color code your weeks or your months if you want to do so so let's go ahead and give this color red and I'll just close it and do add workout so here you can see we've added our first workout let's go ahead and click on this workout and actually build out this workout I'll click on this and here you see we can now create our workout you have all the exercises on the left and then you can view the workout on the right if you want to edit the name you can edit it from here if you want to edit the image you can click on this and change the image and if you want to edit the description you can do that from here so since this is chest let's filter out for some chest exercises so I'll click on here filter for chest and then I will drag some exercises to our workout and I will grab this. So here you see we've created a workout with two exercises. I can go ahead and give it sets, some reps, and some weight. And I can also give them a rest period. So if you give them a rest period, the workout tracker will use this to auto kick off the timer when they complete a set. An important note to mention is that if you want them to track a field in the workout tracker, so for example, if you want them to record their weight, you need to include the weight. So you might not necessarily want to give them a specific weight but if you still want them to track it ensure to include that field over here I can click on this button here to create a superset so if I do superset we now have a superset I can also name this superset so I can call this maybe a killer superset you also have an option to add an alternative exercise to an exercise so if I do add alternative I can now let's say we'll do bench and we'll do bench dumbbell bench press so now there's an alternative so the client can switch out if maybe that machine is taken or they can't do it for whatever reason you can list them out certain alternatives you can also add a section to an exercise um, I'm not gonna jump in detail because there's a separate video for sections but you can essentially create four different types of sections you can create regular sections maybe just for warm-ups you can create intervals so this is for a follow-along style section in the app it will automatically play you can create amraps and you can create circuits again there's a separate video for this if you want a detailed breakdown of how this works so now that we have our workout let's go ahead and do safe changes here you can see we now have two exercises in this workout let's go ahead and create another workout and I'll do it for day two and this time I will go to our workout library instead so I'll click on workout library and let's now upload a legs workout and I'll just do import workout and just like that you can now see we have the workout over here 
So this created a copy from what we just imported. So if I click on it and make a change, it doesn't affect the library that we imported it from. So for example, let's say we want to change the image and stick to our color coding for that week. I can click on this. If you create a workout that you like while you're building out your programs, you can always save it to your library. So if I click on this drop down, I can do save to library. And just like that, we've created something here and saved it to our library. You also have the option to copy. So if I click on copy, I can go ahead and copy. So let's say we want to do the same workout next week. Now, if you want to copy to multiple weeks, make sure you click the shift button and you can just keep pasting. Let's go ahead and do the same for our legs. Let's copy it over and let's just change the coloring over here. For example, we'll make this week purple just so that it looks a bit color coded. You'll also see that you have the option to switch between week and month view. So maybe you want a week view to be able to see things more clearly, you can do so. You'll see here, you have a couple of options which we will run through. So over here, you can add a tag. So this tag is a tag for the program. You could do, for example, this is a full body program and I'll just save it. So later on in your templates, you can filter using these tags. If you wanna edit the name, you can do that straight from here. So let's call this beginners. You also have this setting option. So this setting option allows you to control two different types of settings. So how far ahead can clients see their workouts and can clients reschedule their workouts for each week, you'll see that you have three different options here. The first option is being able to erase a week. So if I do erase, I can completely wipe out that week. So let's go ahead and do clear week. So like that, we've cleared every workout in that week, I can also delete a week completely. So if I want to just completely delete this, it will delete all the workouts in this this week and now we're back to three weeks you also have this option here to add a week after a specific week so i'll do add week and like that we've now just squashed in a week in here between these two you'll see you have this periodized planner and what this allows you to do is view workouts in a spreadsheet style which makes progressive planning a lot easier so for example if i click on periodized planner i can go ahead and select the workouts that i would like to view so for example let's say we want to view chest in week one chest in week two and chest in week four once i select the workouts that i want to view i can click on confirm and just like so we get all our workouts in a spreadsheet style. So in this specific workout, we only created two exercises. So that's what we see over here. And you can see for each workout, we can see the two exercises. For example, I could say in week one, we want 10 reps, week two, we want 12 reps, and week four, we want 14 reps, and I'll do save changes. And just like that, I've saved it. So for example, if I click on week four, you can see that we changed this to 14 reps. So that's really everything there is to building a calendar program. This is in your templates, and then you can import it into your client's program, which I will show you how we can do later on. Let me go ahead and show you what a fixed program looks like. So let's go ahead and do add program. And in this case, let's say we want to create a push pull legs and I will create a fixed program. So we've created our fixed program and I'll go ahead and click on it. So here you can see the builder is a bit different. Instead of a calendar, we get a program builder. So in this case, this program will consist of multiple workouts. So let's go ahead and create our first workout, add workout, and we'll call this push and we'll do add workout. So I've just added a push workout. Let's go ahead and add a second workout, pull, and I'll do add workout. And then lastly, let's create a legs workout. So here you can see we now have the three different workouts within this workout program. I can switch between them as I'm in the builder and then I can go ahead and build this workout. And again, it follows the exact same thing we saw when building out workouts. So that's creating a workout program. Now, if I go to workouts, you can also create a library of your own workout. So if you remember, we created this in our calendar and then we saved it to our library. And if I click on this, this is within our workout library. But again, it's the exact same same builder sections is the same idea so you can create a library of your sections and then you have exercises. So HopeFit comes with over 5,000 exercises. They all come with these consistent videos, but you can also add your own exercise if you want to do so. So if you do add exercise, you can add your own exercise, attach a video or attach a YouTube link. So that's everything when it comes to your training library. I'm now going to show you how you can actually use these templates for your client. So I'm in a client that I just created. So this is a fresh account. And if I click on the client's training section here, you'll see that I have two options. I can either set them up with a calendar program or I can set them up with a fixed program. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a calendar program. If I do calendar, 
I can do continue. And now we've set them to a calendar-based training program. You can always switch this, so you might want to change it to a fixed program. You can always come here and click on this setting and you can switch it to a fixed program. So let's go ahead and actually import something from our calendar. So I'll click on this import button. You'll see that there's one program in our library that is a calendar type. And if I go ahead and click on this, I can now import it. Now, because this is a template based on days, I can pick the start date and it will propagate from that date. So for example, let's say we wanna add it from the 7th of July, and then I'll go ahead and click import program. And just like that, we've imported our program. Now I can go ahead and click on this and further modify it and it won't affect our template because when we import it creates a copy now you don't have to import something from your program you can just create it directly from here or if you want to make adjustments later on you can always do them directly from the client's training calendar you'll also see if I click on settings it's imported the settings from the template that we just imported but we can go ahead and change that if we want to do so you also have the periodize planner so this works the exact same way so if I go ahead and click on training mode and switch back to fixed. I can easily switch. Now, we don't have any fixed programs for this client, so it's currently empty. So let's go ahead and add a program. I'll do add program, and we have the push-pull legs that we created from earlier, and I'll do import program. So that's everything there is to training programs. I'm now going to switch over to the client app to show you how both a calendar workout looks and how a fixed program looks. So over here, we have the client app open. I am logged in as a client that has their training mode set to calendar. So I'm gonna walk you through what a calendar mode looks like. And then I'm gonna also show you a client with a fixed program. So over here, we are in the training section. You'll see that this client will be able to see their current week over here. So in this case, they'll see their current day and here they'll see the workout you can see here that they've completed this workout and they can click on this workout and then they'll be able to see the workout that they've actually completed they can navigate through the different days so there's no workout here there's no workout here but there's a workout tomorrow and you'll see that it says upcoming and if they go ahead and click this they can preview the workout and then they can hit start workout. If you want a full breakdown on the workout tracker, once they click start workout, you can find a dedicated video for that. You'll see here that they'll be able to see a preview of their next session for that week. And there's also a streak counter. So, so far they're on a one day streak. So this will count how many workouts have they done in total without skipping or missing a workout. And here they'll see how many workouts for the current week have they completed against how many they have assigned. So this just shows them the current week. They can click view all to get an overview of all their workouts based on the period that you've allowed them to view until I can view all my upcoming exercises and here you'll see that they'll have the option to switch the date so if I click on this the client will be able to pick a date and reschedule that specific workout and they can also view and start a workout straight from here so if I click on this button here I can view the workout and if I want to start it, I can go ahead and start tracking this workout. They can also view their full history from here. So if I click on history, the client can view their workouts that they've completed. So here, for example, one workout has been completed so far and they can view a breakdown of their exercises. So over here in the dashboard section, the client has a task list. And if there's a workout due on a specific day, it will appear. Now this will only appear here if the client has a calendar training mode because with calendar programs, you assign the workouts to a specific day. Whereas with a fixed program, they won't see it in their task list. I can go ahead and click on this workout from here and then we can can actually start the workout so if I do start workout the workout is now in progress I can go ahead and minimize this and you'll see here that there's an indicator letting them know that this workout is currently in progress and this is what it would look like when the workout is completed you'll see here it says the workout is completed and if they click on the workout they will be able to see the completed workout so that's what a calendar mode looks like for the client I'm now going to show you how a fixed program looks like so over here I have a client that now has a fixed program so in this case, it's not calendar. So they don't see things in a calendar format. Instead, they will see their programs. They can go ahead and click on a specific program. So for example, we have two here. I'll go ahead and click on full body. They can view their workouts in this program. They can swipe between them and they can start their workout. So that's really everything there is to the training program and how it looks like from the coach and the client side. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below.